What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and in this video we're going to go over all of the December 2019 Air Jordan release dates so far. So it's a little bit early, we're still in November, but I wanted to get this video out a little bit earlier than usual. Usually I don't drop a release dates video until we're a week into that month, and usually that's too late. So wanted to do things early. Also, if you have a second, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. The subscriber goal for 2019 is 111,000. We're less than 300 away, so hopefully we can reach that milestone this week. Now, since it is early, it's very possible that a release date could get changed or a new model and colorway could be added in for the month. In the case that it happens, there will be a link in the description below which will take you to our Air Jordan release dates page which will have releases for not only December but a lot for 2020. Also, I will make mentions in upcoming news videos. And now let's officially get into the video. The Air Jordan 12 dark gray resembles that of the 2003 release of the Flint Air Jordan 12. Now there is some differences here and this is a pair that a lot of people are actually looking forward to. Now initially this pair was expected to drop on December 21st and that has changed. But before we get into the release date, this pair features a white leather upper. We have dark gray on the overlays as well as the midsole and outsole, and then Jim Red lands on the tongue branding, heel, and other little details throughout. Finishing the look is chrome on the top two eyelids, as well as the lateral and medial side overlays. Now, I'm not sure why, but the release date has changed from December 21st and will release earlier than expected on December 2nd. Retail price will be 190. This pair will release in men's and grade school sizing. In my opinion, this pair won't go on sale. December is a busy month as far as releases, not just from Jordan brand, but pretty much all the brands. However, I feel that this pair won't sell out first day, but definitely won't go on sale. We have a rumored release date for what's being called the Air Jordan 14 black Ferrari. Now I say it's rumored because it hasn't been confirmed and I did some digging and I haven't seen this pair pop up. However, I do know some retailers are starting to get this pair in. Now, if you haven't seen any of the news videos to briefly go over this pair, on the lateral side, we have leather along with perforations. And then on the medial side, we have this cloth suede like material. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it also features a quilted pattern. Now bringing the whole Ferrari theme together, is the carbon fiber used on the overlays. Finishing the look, we have white on the tongue branding along with varsity red accents. So the rumored release date is December 2nd. Like I mentioned, it has yet to be confirmed from Nike or Jordan brand and the retail price will be 200. Now this is a quick strike release, I believe. And it's also rumored that this pair will be limited. I don't know to what degree it'll be limited to. And even though I'm 100% buying this shoe, the 14 is a model that's not loved by many. So depending on how limited they are, or even if they're limited, that will be the main basis of if they sit or sell out. The Nike SB Air Jordan 1 Low Desert Ore is also nicknamed Lance Mountain, and the nickname is from a picture of Lance Mountain in the mid-1980s, and he was wearing mismatched Air Jordan 1s. I believe that was also the inspiration on his other Nike SB Air Jordan 1 release. But going over this pair, they feature Desert Ore, Royal Blue, and Dark Powder Blue. Now, that shade of beige covers the upper, which is said to be a canvas material and over time, while wearing the shoe or either through customization, the upper will wear away and then it will unveil the mismatched theme of UNC and Royal Blue. Now this pair will drop on December 6th. They'll be available at select skate retailers and online at nike.com. Retail price will be 120. This is a pair that will definitely sell out this month. Part of the 2019 Nike Doran Becker Freestyle Collection is the Air Jordan 14 Doran Becker. Now this pair will release in both men's and grade school sizing. Designed by Ethan Ellis, they feature a black, court purple, multicolor and white color combination. Ethan's design is a tribute to both the game he loves and the people and places that were a part 
of his health journey. The reptilian accents are a nod to his favorite team, the TCU Horned Frogs. The number six represents his heart surgeries, while the laces feature the hospitals where he received care. On the tongue, you'll find the name of his pal and fellow patient, Lil Ray. The Air Jordan 14 DB will release on December 7th. Retail price will be 200. Currently, I don't know the retail price for grade school sizing, and they will be available on Nike sneakers, and I believe they'll be available on Shoe Palace. I was just looking at their release calendar, and I saw that the Air Force One Doran Becker popped up, but nothing else. So I know in the past that Shoe Palace has received some of the Doran Becker collections. During December, there's going to be more pairs releasing from the Fearless collection. One of those is the Claude Air Jordan 1 Mid. Now this pair features white silk across the upper, along with various Chinese patterns used throughout. They also come with a fadeaway swoosh across the panels, which shows hidden details after natural wear or customization. Finishing the look is a Chinese token inspired design, which spells out Jordan. This is another pair from the Fearless collection that will sell out pretty fast, probably first day. I know a lot of the Air Jordan 1 mids have sold out, I actually think every one of them. I've only gone after a few pairs, and each I've struck out on. With that being said, the release date is December 7th, and the retail price will be 130 This pair, I'm not going to spend too much time on it for several reasons. This is a Photoshop of the Soulfly Air Jordan 10. Now we have yet to get a first look at the shoe and this Photoshop is just based off the color description which is velvet brown, black, reflect silver, and parachute beige. There isn't a retail price, however, this pair is rumored to release on December 7th during Art Basel weekend. So this pair will be very limited, probably only available in Miami, but these details aren't confirmed as of yet. The Air Jordan 1 Zoom Fearless is also dropping this month, and this pair comes dressed in multicolor, black, lucky green, and varsity red. So on the surface, it looks all black with minimal details of red, but the upper is 3M reflective and features iridescent throughout, so once the light hits it, it'll definitely pop. Also, this pair features Zoom Air cushioning, and I know behind the scenes I've talked to some people at Jordan Brand about this shoe and really hyped about it. Not only do you get the OG style look with some modifications, of course, they also feature the Zoom Air cushioning, which allows the Air Jordan 1 to become more comfortable. Now, instead of featuring Nike Air on the tongue, we have Zoom Air, and the outsole is translucent, which has a red to blue gradient. Dropping on December 7th, Retail price will be 175 Now, this isn't a one-of shoe. Jordan Brand's going to release quite a few colorways in 2020. So if this colorway isn't something you're after, more than likely there's going to be another colorway down the road that you like. Other than that, since there's so much stuff releasing during December, I don't think people are going to run out first day and buy this shoe. I could be wrong on this, so if you like them, don't take my word for it. Just go out on the release date and grab them. However, I do believe towards the end of the month, people will start picking them up after Christmas is over and the releases slow down a bit. Easily the biggest release of December is the Air Jordan 11 bread. Now I have people I haven't spoke to in years hitting me up asking how they can get a pair, what steps they should take, or even seeing if I could hook them up. Which is kind of funny because if you don't speak to somebody in so long and the first thing you say to them is, hey, how can I get the bread 11s? It's not the best way to start off a conversation, but that's besides the point, getting back into this release. Now, it's being said that there's 2 million pairs releasing of the Air Jordan 11 bread, which is true. However, you have to take in account that 2 million is releasing across adult sizes, grade school, toddler, preschool, and even infant. Although there's going to be a lot of pairs available in adult and grade school sizing, another thing to take in account is how hyped these shoes are. There's a lot of people that don't even collect sneakers. They're just like a fresh pair here and there, and they want them. I even know some people that only wear Vans and their Vans are just totally thrashed. I'm sure you have an image of that in your head. Well, they want a pair of these. So like I mentioned, there's a ton of hype. So even though there's a lot of pairs available, there's also a lot of hype, there's resellers, a lot of things factoring in. 
what I'm trying to say is don't expect this to be an easy cop. Yes, if you do all the footwork, you go and enter the raffles, you wake up early, your chances of getting this pair are higher if you just waited, woke up late, didn't enter any of the raffles, stuff like that. Also, there is a rumor going around that there's going to be another shock drop. I don't know the date or time, but if I hear of additional information, I definitely will make sure to update you in the following news video. Or if I don't have enough time, at the very least, I'll make sure to update the community tab. So if you're subscribed, you'll be able to see it no matter what. Now to the release details, this pair drops on December 14th and retail price for men's sizes is 220. Grade school is 170. Preschool will cost 90. Toddler will retail at 70 and infant sizes will cost you 50. As of late, we've been talking about the Air Jordan 3 Animal quite a bit, and that's because new information keeps coming out as well as better photos. Now, if you're keeping up on the news videos, then you already know this information. But if you haven't, I'm going to go over it. Now, there's at least two colorways that make up the Air Jordan 3 Animal Pack. Shown is the pair that comes dressed in black, dark mocha, rope, and multicolor. Now, initially, this pair was rumored to release during fall 2019, then it was rumored to release sometime during 2020, and now we have a rumored release date which will take place in December. The second colorway will in fact release during 2020. That shoe was listed part of Jordan Brand's spring summer 2020 lineup. Now at the time of shooting this video, this release date is a rumor. So the rumored release date is December 19th. Retail price is set at 225 Once there's confirmation on the release date for this shoe, I'll update it on sneakerfiles.com as well as put it in one of the following news videos. It looks like Jordan brand swap two releases around. The Air Jordan 4 Winter in Loyal Blue was originally expected to release on December 2nd. Like I previously mentioned, the Air Jordan 12 Dark Gray will release on December 2nd. And now the Air Jordan 4 Winter Loyal Blue takes its spot. Going over the shoes, they feature a Loyal Blue, White, Habanero Red, and Black color combination. A lot of people say this shoe reminds them of the Eminem Air Jordan 4. And instead of using leather, nubuck, or anything like that, we have a canvas-like material on the upper. I believe it's canvas, but it almost looks like leather wraps the toe. I'm just going off the official images. I have yet to have the shoe in hand. Featuring loyal blue on the upper, we have black on part of the midsole, laces, and other small detailing, while red lands on the inside of the tongue, flight written across the tongue, as well as select areas on the outsole. The Air Jordan 4 Winter Loyal Blue will release at select retailers on December 21st, and the retail price will be 200 the last release for the month of December, which has yet to be confirmed, is the Air Jordan 6 Wash Denim. They come dressed in Wash Denim, Cell, Varsity Red, and Black. Featuring denim across the upper in two shades of blue, we have brown leather used on the tongue overlay, black accents throughout, red hits the lace lock, as well as the Jumpman on the outsole. And speaking of the outsole, in areas it has a milky translucent finish, and somebody brought to my attention in one of the previous news videos that it's possible this pair could be glow in the dark. That isn't confirmed, but I also wanted to bring that to everyone's attention. On to the release details, this pair is rumored to release on December 28th, and the retail price will be 200 And that is all of the December 2019 Air Jordan releases so far. Like I mentioned early on, it's very possible that another shoe is scheduled to release during the month of December. A date gets pushed back or forward. In the case that it does, there's a link in the description below which will take you over to sneakerfiles.com, specifically the Air Jordan release dates page. From there, it'll be updated. As well, there are releases for all of December and a lot of releases for 2020. Also, I'll make sure to add it in to any upcoming news videos. December does look strong. There's quite a few releases that I want to pick up, but let me know in the comment section which pairs you plan on grabbing. Also, if you haven't done so already, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.